Welcome to our BioTrack THC instructional video series. This is BioTrack Basics, Creating Rooms. Rooms are one of the tools BioTrack provides to keep your grow house or inventory organized. You can create just about as many rooms as you want, but keep in mind if you create too many rooms, it can also act as a hindrance. In regards to grow house rooms, some of my recommendations are organizing by life stage, i.e. making a room just for moms, just for clones, just for seedlings, to help easily keep track of these. Also, I recommend organizing by tables or rooms of plants, depending on how your grow house is set up. That makes harvesting easy because you can harvest one row or one table at a time and easily replicate that in BioTrack. It also supports inventories and audits when you have things set up in BioTrack similarly to your physical layout of your location. It helps you print tags and keep track of plants, and you can even make rooms for quarantined sick or diseased plants so that you can easily destroy them or keep an eye on them. I'm going to show you how to create a new room for the grow. First, we're going to be on the Grow House tab, and then we're going to use the Grow House menu. We're going to select Rooms, and this opens the window for creating rooms. <clears throat> now, you can also edit rooms from there by using this Existing Rooms dropdown. So, we could edit this to change the name of this to Greenhouse Moms. We're going to say these are pre-flowering. Let's create another room. And you don't have to select a phase if that's not applying to your situation. So now we've got Greenhouse Clones, Greenhouse Moms, Greenhouse Table 1, Greenhouse Table 3. And when we close this, and we come over here to Rooms, we'll see that this brings us to the main page, and we can click on any one of these, and it will take us into the different room. We can also click on View Mode and change this, to list view, say yes. And this makes this a little bit easier to navigate. You can see our current room is outdoor grow. And you can easily see we've got these different rooms. These are some of my basic recommendations for retail. Your BioTrack point of sale comes stock with a bulk inventory where all product is automatically received into initially. It also comes stock with a quarantine, which is where all product gets moved to when you're sending a transfer. In addition to that, you want to create a sales floor for all the sellable product. That way your bud tenders are only facing product that they can actually sell and is on the sales floor physically. Then you want to create a backstock room and potentially multiple, depending on if you have multiple safes or multiple backstock locations where you're keeping product. The next rooms you want to create is a transfer out and a separate transfer in. And this helps maintain the flow of product and keeps things from getting confused. This is an example of a retail location that uses BioTrack as their point of sale system. Um, I've set them up um, and you can see by this list of rooms that they have, they have the bulk inventory, an in-process room, uh, inventory adjustments room, on hold, pending, quarantine is required for the state of New Mexico and that comes preloaded, and a sales floor. Um, and this is again for a retail only location. My recommendation on inventory rooms for a production or distribution location is slightly different than retail, but pretty similar. Again, you're going to have a bulk inventory, which comes standard, and a quarantine for those transfers in and transfers out. In addition, you probably want to create a pending test results room 
so that all the product that you're waiting to get results back on um, can live there if you're a production facility. That way you don't accidentally send it out or get confused about the product's viability. Then you want a stock room, potentially multiple, depending on how large your location is and how many separate rooms or separate shelves you have storing product. Again, this is to help you inventory and keep track of product. Then you want transfer out, potentially multiple, if you're a distribution hub for multiple stores or multiple locations, you want as many transfers out as you're regularly servicing. That way you don't get the product digitally or physically confused and you can very easily do the transfers. If you are only transferring out product one at a time, you can use just one. And then you also want the transfer in for any product coming into your distribution or your production facility. So you can keep track of that separately until it's ready to distribute or process. Let me show you how to make rooms in our regular inventory. To do that, we're going to switch to our inventory tab. We're going to use our inventory menu and we're going to use rooms from here. Inventory rooms are separate from grow house rooms. Let's start by creating a few rooms. The first room we're going to create is back stock. Next room we're going to create is outbound transfer. And then we're going to do a safe queue. This is the lockbox. So now if we go up into existing rooms, you can see back stock, inbound transfer, outbound transfer, safe one, safe two, sales floor. Thank you for watching our video, Biotrack Basics, Creating Rooms. Please check out our other videos in this series.